Um, Asif Bai says that there is this concept in the subcontinent, India, Pakistan, that Isha is composed of 13 raka. If you miss one of them, the whole package deal is gone and your prayer is invalid. And definitely this is totally baseless. And this is why we go out of our way. We strive hard to educate Muslims. Don't take your religion from Tom, Dick and Harry. Take it from the Quran and the Sunnah. Whoever said that if you don't pray the Sunnah or the Nafila or the Witr, your Isha is invalid. Only imbeciles, ignorant people. Subhanallah, the authentic hadith tells us that the pillars of Islam are five. Among them is establishing Salah. And Salat, by the consensus of scholars, is the five daily prayers and that's it. In the nomad who came to the Prophet asking him about Islam and the Prophet told him to pray five times a day. He said, nothing else. And the Prophet said, nothing else unless you want to perform voluntary uh, uh, deeds. So the man said, by Allah who sent you to us, I will not add anything. Meaning I will only pray the five daily prayers among the other things. The Prophet said, by Allah he has succeeded. And he is among the people of Jannah. Never ever the Prophet told them or told us that we have to pray the uh, two raka uh, ratiba and then the two raka nafila and then the I don't know what else and then the three rakas of witr, shaf and witr. All of this is baseless to be a condition in accepting your prayer. You pray for raka, Isha, that's it. You go home. Am I sinful? Nope. You've lost some reward for not praying the ratiba, which is two raka. You've lost some reward for not praying the taraweeh. But to say that it is 13 raka'ah, this is a total innovation. And it's not part of Islam at all.